How's it going, my peeps? It's about that time for my yearly look at the Royal Rumble returns for this year's pay-per-view. So, every single year, I make a video like this going over all the possible returns we could see at the upcoming Royal Rumble. Every single year, you have some returns, whether it be some superstars returning from injury, maybe they just haven't been on TV for a while, doesn't need to be because of an injury, or sometimes it's legends who are returning. So, there's always returns and surprises at the Rumble, in the Rumble matchup, and it's one of the things that makes the match so exciting because you just don't know who's going to come out next. So just like the past couple of years, there's a lot of possible returns for the 2014 Royal Rumble. And I'm going to go over every single one of them in this video. And I'm going to go over why I think that person could return. Now, this simulation we're watching right now is basically a 10-man Royal Rumble matchup where... I put in as many superstars as possible that I think could return at the uh, Rumble this year. And I invite you guys to participate as well in the comment section by giving me three or five superstars you think could return at the Rumble this year. So let's start it off with the big obvious one, and that is, of course, Batista. Now, while Batista, it's been confirmed that he's going to be returning, they showed a video package, actually they've showed two video packages now announcing his return at the January 20th Raw it hasn't been confirmed that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble matchup they haven't said Batista's returning to return in the Rumble but the thing is I mean come on Let, let's face it here I think it's pretty obvious that if Batista's going to return at this time the Raw right before the Rumble it just makes perfect sense for him to participate in the Rumble and wouldn't make too much sense for Batista to return right before the Rumble, but not be entered in the actual matchup. So, right off the bat, I think Batista will be participating in the Rumble. But like I said, that's a pretty obvious one. And that's why I wanted to just get that one out of the way. And then, following that, you've got a, least, or a less obvious one. And that is David Otunga, who's been off TV for a long ass time now. I think the last time we saw David Otunga on TV was back in October when he had the video package or on video during a Raw episode. He talked about the Big Show's lawsuit and uh, the dangers of that lawsuit. But as far as actually competing in the match, I think the last time he competed in a, in a match on TV was last year at the 23rd scene Royal Rumble matchup. So that's a long time ago. That's a freaking year. So the Rumble is, I believe, the perfect spot just to have David Otunga return. And then moving on to Evan Bourne, who's been off TV even longer than David Otunga. He's been off TV since January 15th. Uh, so that's, and, and that's January 15, 2002, not 2013. So, did I say 2002? If I did, I meant 20, 2012. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he's been off TV since January 15, 2012. And the major reason behind that is because of an injury he suffered. He broke his foot. And while he did return on uh, NXT, I believe, on March 2013, or was it May? I'm not sure. But he hasn't been on Raw, SmackDown, or a pay-per-view since, like I said, January 15th. And on top of that, on Twitter, he kind of teased the fans that he might just be appearing at the Royal Rumble matchup. He said something along the lines that the Rumble pay-per-view is his favorite pay-per-view of the year. And then he said, oh wait, that gives me an idea. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see Evan Bourne at the Rumble. If he, if he doesn't appear at the Rumble, I'm going to be pretty surprised. Because the Rumble, from so many superstars, it's like the perfect opportunity to have them return. And before he gets eliminated, let's move on to Ezekiel Jackson. Uh, Ezekiel Jackson, I don't even know when the last time Ezekiel Jackson was on TV, but it's been a long time. We haven't seen Big Zeke in a long time. The last matchup I remember Ezekiel Jackson being in was the WrestleMania 20... Seven or was it 28 matchup where it was Team Big Johnny or uh, Team People Power versus Team Teddy Long? 
And I, I, yeah, that's the last time I remember Big Z competing in a matchup. So we haven't seen him in a long time too. And uh, why not have him return at the Rumble? If the rumors are true that Roman Reigns, you know, might have like this big dominant streak at the Rumble and eliminate so many superstars. I mean, Roman Reigns, he's been looking strong uh, for a while now. And I believe he's going to look really strong at the Rumble by eliminating a lot of superstars. Why not have him confront Ezekiel Jackson? Two big guys. And uh, having maybe Roman Reigns eliminate Ezekiel Jackson. You know, that'd be pretty cool. It's, it's always cool when you have, you know, two uh, big superstars collide and you're like, oh, which one is gonna, you know, uh, I guess overthrow the other or beat the other? Or which one's stronger? But anyways, let's move on to the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. He hasn't been on TV since, I believe, the Battleground pay-per-view when he lost against Del Rio. And after that, he pretty much, you know, took a break. I believe his, in his contract, he competes for, I think it was three months straight, if I'm not mistaken, and then takes a three-month break or so, something along those lines. It's something like that. Anyways, we haven't seen him since then. And as far as RVD in the Rumble matchup, we haven't seen him in the Rumble since 2009. That's a long time. That's a long absence. Uh, that was a surprise appearance. He didn't last too long in that Rumble, but uh, yeah, so we haven't seen RVD in a while at the Rumble, and we all haven't seen him for a couple months now. And also, why wouldn't RVD want to return at the Rumble so he can get a shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Uh, they should have a lot of superstars returning, you know, to emphasize the point that now that there's only one champion, uh, that a lot of superstars want to return, want to compete for that championship to be that as uh, Paul Heyman said in that exclusive interview, the the man, the man, you know, the, that one champion. There's only one champion right now. And uh, why not have, have RVD return at the Rumble? Uh, maybe we could have Rob Van Dam versus Evan Bourne at the Rumble or have them, uh, you know, uh, fight in, in, at some point in the Rumble. I think that'd be pretty cool. Also, this applies to any superstar that returns at any point in time, or let's say the Rumble, even if they don't win the Rumble, they could then, you know, enter the Elimination Chamber and compete for the championship. So, let's move on to Sheamus, who's been eliminated in this simulation. So, I probably should have talked about Sheamus before I did Rob Van Dam. Doesn't matter. Anyways, let's uh, talk about Sheamus here. Sheamus, he hasn't been on TV since, I don't know, a couple, a couple of dates after the Money in the Bank ladder match, where he fell through the ladder and... At first, it looked like he only injured his leg. Because that was really, that was like, uh, I, I, I think I heard double the size than usual. And it seemed like that was his only injury for, from falling, you know, through the ladder. His leg was all swollen up. But then we find out that he also injured his shoulder. So that, you know, increases, uh, I guess, the time out or the time he has off. And... Also, I believe we recently find out that it was he also hurt his other shoulder. I might be be wrong on that, but I think I'm correct. I'm, although I'm not sure. But but bottom line, he's been injured. He's been out for a while, and he's the 2012 Royal Rumble winner. So why wouldn't Sheamus want to come back and win a second Rumble? Uh, I, I I'd be wondering if Sheamus you know returns as, as as a face or as a heel, and um. What does Sheamus do after returning? Who does he feud with? I'm not sure. But uh, let's try not go too off topic here. So, yeah, Sheamus is, you know, a candidate I could see returning at the Rumble. If he doesn't return in the Rumble match, then I could see him returning at the Elimination Chamber. Not not necessarily at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, but, like, for that pay-per-view. So maybe a couple Raws after the Rumble or on a SmackDown. No, probably not a SmackDown. Maybe a Raw. I'm not sure. But let's move on to Christian. Now, here's the thing with Christian. I, the past two years, I've been doing these, you know, uh, return, Winter Rumble return videos. Both years, the two past years, I said that I could see Christian returning at the Royal Rumble. And guess what? Both years, I was wrong. Christian did not return at the Rumble. And one of those years, he returned at the Elimination Chamber. The second year... He didn't return at all before WrestleMania. He returned after WrestleMania. 
So I've been wrong twice now on Christian. But, you know, you know what they say. They say third time's the charm. So I'm going with Christian once again. And hopefully this time I'm right. I mean, we did see him before, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago in the um, championship ceremony or whatever it was. The night before the TLC pay-per-view where you had John Cena and Randy face-to-face. -face and you had 20 former world champions in the same ring. He was there. So I'm, I'm going to go with Christian returning at the Rumble here. And hopefully I'm right. Because if not, that's going to be the third year where I'm wrong. And can you guys believe it that Christian has not been in a Royal Rumble match? L try and guess when when is the last time Christian has been in the Royal Rumble. Try and guess. The, the matchup itself, not the pay-per-view. I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Tell me in the comment section. Alright, come on. 5, 4, 3, 2... One, Christian has not been in the Royal Rumble match since 2005. That is crazy. That is nine years. He hasn't been in a Rumble match since then. That That, that is insane. I, I mean, I do know, I do realize that in 2010, he was in the, in the, in the match. Uh, I mean, he wasn't at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view and he competed, but he was ECW champion at that time and he defended the title against Ezekiel Jackson, I believe. So he wasn't in you know, the actual 30-man matchup. And then in 2011, he wasn't in the matchup. 2012, wasn't in the matchup. 2013, wasn't in the matchup. So what's going to happen this year? Is he going to be in the matchup? Is, is he going to break his nine-year streak of not being in a matchup? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, anyways, uh, let's move on to another superstar here. And that is DDP, Diamond Dallas Page. And uh, that you have to include the legend in there, you know, when you, when you talk about returns for the Rumble. There's always legends returning. So I'm going with Diamond Dallas Page possibly returning here, who hasn't participated in the Rumble for like, I think, 12 years. And one of the reasons why is I was watching one of his videos a couple months ago, like maybe three months ago or so. And in the video, he said he was trying to pack on some muscle mass, uh, add on some muscle. So I was like, wait a minute. Right away, like, Clint, I was like, wait a minute, maybe this is, is this maybe for a possible ring return for one-time appearance? Uh, maybe he's trying to, you know, gain some weight back to, I don't know, return at the Rumble or something like that. Or, then again, it could just be totally unrelated. But, also, he's promoted, or he's gonna be in the Old School Raw. So, you know, him appearing on the Old School Raw, him appearing like a year back or so, giving the uh, uh, Diamond Cutter to Heath Slater. I think it'd be a pretty cool moment if Heath Slater does compete in the match, if you have DDP come in and give him, once again, another uh, Diamond Cutter. And if Heath Slater's at the Old School Raw, give him a Diamond Cutter there too. It could be like a thing where whenever DDP comes in, he gives a diamond cutter to Heath Slater. But anyways, let's talk about another possible return, and that is Chris Jericho, Y2J. And one of the major reasons why I think he might return at the Rumble is because he has a signing apparently the same day and at the same place that the Rumble takes, takes place. What a coincidence. But... One of the reasons why I think maybe he won't return at the Rumble is because, you know, for, from what I've seen from Jericho, from what I've heard from, you know, from Jericho the past couple of years in interviews, is it seems he likes to change things up. He doesn't like to do the same thing every single time. And to me, that, that might point to Jericho not wanting to return at the Rumble again. Since in 2013, he returned at the Rumble matchup. So would he want to return in the 2014 Rumble as well? Or maybe return at something like the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view or the Raw right after the Rumble or something like that. So when it comes to Jericho, while I do think he's going to return in 2014, I'm not sure if he's going to return at the Rumble or at some other time. And then I want to talk about Kane. That's right, Kane. Uh, while he is on TV, Kane hasn't competed for a couple months now. I think the last match he was in was against The Miz on an episode of Raw after, it, I think after Night of Champions, no, I think it was after Hell in a Cell, the Raw after Hell in a Cell. Uh, he beat The Miz and after that gave his mask to Stephanie McMahon and that was the last time we saw him compete, I believe. At least on TV because I do hear 
that he's been competing in live events against the Big Show. Which also could be an indication he's trying to fight off any possible ring rust he might have in preparation maybe for the Rumble. And also, Kane has not missed a Royal Rumble match since 1999. So why break that like perfect streak and not have him compete this year? So I really do hope he competes in the 2014 Rumble. And he's only two eliminations away from breaking Shawn Michaels' record of 39 total eliminations throughout the Rumble matches. So maybe this year, Kane breaks that record. I hope so. I'm a big fan of Kane. And last but certainly not least is Brock Lesnar. While he did return on Raw, this could be his Royal Rumble return since he hasn't competed in one in a long time. So, that is it for my look at the possible returns for the 2014 Royal Rumble match. Tell me who you think might return in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, you can click that like button. With that said, I'm out. See you guys.